Hi everyone and welcome to this new AutoCAD 2019 video tutorial. So today we'll be going through <coughs> animations, how to produce animations in AutoCAD. So I'll be showing you three different commands, AniPath, Flythrough and Walkthrough, that will do this job. So if you open up the assembly that we produced in the previous video, um, the next thing that I will be doing, I will be going on my Visualize tab, and now there should be a menu here for animations, but it's not displayed by default. So I'll right click on my <coughs> on my panel, and then I'll go on Show Panels, and you should be able to see animations and select it. Now we've got our animation panel here. So, how do we start? Let's start with the most basic command walkthrough. So, to so just go here and walk, first set your view. So, let's say you want a front view, a line to our plane, and go and walk. AutoCAD is telling you that it needs to switch to perspective view so accept it and click on change so we're now on perspective so now it's like in a video game you can either use w a s d to move forward backwards uh, to the sides so i'm pressing w and it's moving forward i press d it's to the side you can also use the the arrow keys if you wish to move your camera Hold left click and look around. Okay, so you have probably noticed that it's going a little bit too slow, so I'm going to go by walk and fly settings. Select my walk fly step size, so that's 6 per units, 2 steps per second, so it's moving 12 mil per second, so I'm going to move it to, let's say, say 500 mil per second, sorry, per step, 2 steps per second, so it will move a meter per second. So, I'll click on OK. I'll go back into my walk mode and now as you can see it's moving a lot faster. Probably a bit too fast, so go on the settings and set it in a way that you feel comfortable with. Okay. So if I wanted to record a walkthrough animation, I just have to hit the record button. So now my AutoCAD is recording. And now I hit stop. Now AutoCAD is asking me where I want to save my animation. So I'll just save it on my on my documents on my libraries and uh, <coughs> Pictures, uh, animation settings. So you can select your visual style. So if you go for render, it will take too long. I'll change my resolution to maximum. And I'll change my frames per second to 60. And now I'll click on OK. <coughs> Call my animation 1. Click on save. We'll try to save it again. It's telling me there's not a file system location, so I'll go on. Let's 
try to save up my memory stick. So I should be ready to open. So that's how the walkthrough command works. <coughs> Let's say if I wanted to use the flythrough command, the settings are the same, so I'll just go on fly. So I'm now on fly mode. Okay, what's the difference between fly and walk here? Oh, okay. So when you walk, it doesn't. You can only walk. You can only walk in a planar mode. So we were stuck on this X Y plane. We could only move in a two dimensional way. Um. So on a walk mode, it doesn't matter if your camera is pointing up. If you walk forward, you are still on the same plane. And the height doesn't change. On fly mode, when you go forward, you go in whatever direction the camera is pointing. So if I'm pointing at there, and I press W to go forward, I move towards it, and I've gone up. So you can see I can fly above objects. If you wish to record the animation, same way, press the record button, record it, and press stop. Okay, and the last type of animation is what we call Anipath. So, what I will do, I will draw a circle, so I'll type in C, press enter, this shipwreck click, I'll go on 3D. Object snap, center of face, and I will select the center of my wheel, which is there. I'm going to make that probably, probably actually, <coughs> maybe 250. Press enter. Now, <coughs> I'll actually change my view style for a second back to wireframe and back to conceptual simply because by switching it to a perspective mode earlier it modified my my style so okay so if I now type in any path I can now select link camera to a point I can link my camera to a point if I want to so the camera would would be static or I can link my camera to a path. So now if you click here, it will allow you to select your path. Accept it, path one. And now you can link your target to a point or also a path. So I'll select a point. Select the point. So I can say, for instance, that's my point. Accept it. And now go on preview. So as you can see, my camera is fixed on that point. However, I may want it more centered, so I can say, okay, instead of that point, I'll select the center as well. So I'll say 3D object snap, center of face, and select the center of my will. Uh, Let's give it a preview. So as you can see, the path is either too low or what we can do is we can make this path a little bit bigger. We can use the offset command and then offset a smaller circle. 
just realized our circle was not centered in the first place, so I'll delete it. Draw another circle. So I'll make sure that I use my 3D object snap. Let's say center of face. Select my exact center. That seems more accurate. So that's going to be my path. Uh, I'll use an offset through. And then I'll make that one. Three, 300 roughly, that should be fine. So now, what I can do, I can move my path a little bit up. So when you when you're on three D model, on three D modeling, um, these arrows come up. So you don't need to use the move command all the time. You can just left click on one of the arrows once and then move it up by whatever distance. I'll say fifty mil. Maybe a little bit lower. Maybe maybe twenty mil in this direction. So now I'll go back on my any path, select my camera path, that one, and now my target path, which is going to be this one. And now I'll preview my animation. So as you can see, it's quite centered and even. So you can always play with this, you can always um, play your um, camera edit your camera path, uh, make it bigger or smaller if you want to zoom in and out. Um, you can, if you want to look at it from above, you can always uh, place your um, camera path above target path or vice versa. Um, so here you can select how many frames per second, so I would either go for 30 or 60. That's a frame rate, number of frames, 30, duration second. Um, you can change the visual style here. Um, the format Windows Movie is fine. V, W, and V format is fine. Resolution, I will put it on maximum. Um, so that's it. Um, in case you want to do more than one revolution, the issue here is that Obviously, it's using a circle, so it will only go around the path once. If you want to choose another path, type in helix. Uh, shift right click, center, so from that center, that's going to be my diameter. And now you can um, you can apply it here so it doesn't keep spins. And then on my height, I'll enter zero. So I've just created a flat helix. Um, I can now use that as a path. It's going to be a little bit too fast, so I can change my duration seconds, so I can make my animation 20 seconds. So it looks like it's not perfectly centered, but if you, play, if you place your helix um, bang on the center of, of the wheel, it will look more even. You can also give the helix some height. Uh, the camera will spin around the object as as it goes up and shows different angles. So this will be it for this video. Um, I hope it's clear now how to record animations on AutoCAD. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.